It's a new year, a new season, and we are underway. Really dominating fashion here today is going to win. Two, three, four for the final time. Win number one on the season, only just barely. He is going to win here at the Nazareth Speedway. Wins the Emerson Electric 100K. Going to be Igor Moretto's going to eke it out. Cup Series champion is Shane Lake in the number 15. Welcome to the NOF SRL. The Indianapolis Motor Speedway is home to 110 years of motorsport history. And today, for the first time, the NOF SRL Cabela's Cup Series makes its first visit to the famed speedway. We are here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, commonly known as the Brickyard, for this race number 26 of 32 in Season 3. The Brickyard 400 presented by Franklin Electric. We are here at this two and a half mile speedway for the first time. We have been in Indianapolis before in this series, but not here at this track. It was at the Indianapolis Raceway Park in season number one. Didn't visit the Indianapolis area at all in season two, but here for season three, we are here for the at the track that was once made entirely out of bricks reduced to one yard right at the start finish line that's why it's called the yard of bricks now let's take a look at your point standings before we get into this race coming into this one after an extremely triumphant two races last week at watkins glen trey smith comes in with an incredible 39 point lead over sebastian kukulon Darian Arnsdorf, winner three races ago at Armory Digital. He's 52 points behind in third place. Brad Stover, fourth in points. He's 67 back. Sam Adoskin is 89 back in fifth in points. Benny Watson up to sixth in points after the Body Armor 500K. He is 98 points back of Trey Smith. Ben Crouch, 103 points back. Brad Crawford, 104 points back. Beverly Creed, 105 points back, and Roy Ribbleton rounds out the top 10 in points. He is 106 points behind Trey Smith's points lead. It's going to be a good one here at Indianapolis. Let's go down trackside. We'll get you a starting lineup so we can get this show on the road. And the engines fire here at Indianapolis. 42 to roll off from the grid. It's season two champion of the series, Kanan Biller leading us off from the pole position today. He is starting alongside Team Velocistar's Andrew Miller, who is still searching for his first career Cabela's Cup Series victory. In row number two, it's Sophia Fragniti in the 38 for Rock Car Racing and team owner Arthur Xavier. Starting on the inside of another Velocistar car, it's Ethan Lewis, Daytona winner earlier this season there in car number 51. In row number three, we find the unchartered driver for Thibodeau Motorsports in the Starcom Fiber Chevrolet. It's the 09 Brennan Wilmington, starting on the inside of three time winner of the series and two time winner this season at Homestead and Las Vegas. Starting from the sixth position, it's Trinity River Racing's number 83 Mac Tools Toyota Camry, Sam Ed Osgin. In 7th place starting, we find number 46, Pilot Flying J Chevrolet for owner Darian Arnsdorf and All-Star Speed Team. It's Keegan Thompson flying the Pilot Flying J colors on the inside of Ennis Racing's Nathan Stapleton in the 97 in the Advanced Auto Parts colors there. Rounding out the top 10, we find in row number 5, the 34, it's the Talladega winner earlier this season, Ryan Durrani in the Cartoon Network colors. On the inside of the Polar Star Motorsports driver in the 84 Chevrolet, Nathan Smith. 32 laps around this rectangular speedway, and it's going to be a good one here for the inaugural Cabela's Cup Series Brickyard 400. Pace car going to make the hard left turn onto pit road, and here we go, folks. Down Gasoline Alley they come, waiting for that green flag to fly. And we'll get this first ever Indianapolis race underway. Green flag is out. Folks, it's time to go racing at the Brickyard. Let's get this show on the road.
side by side down the front straightaway. Brennan Wilmington leads lap number one of the Brickyard 400. Sophia Fragniti into second. Keegan Thompson on the inside for third and now going to be second on the inside of the 30 is Sophia Fragniti. Three wide deeper in the field. Silver Point in between a few cars there and on the outside of everything there's the 32 of Everly Creed. Oh, big crash in the back. Christian Vargas, Betty Watson, and Ben Young all up in the air. Watson going for a massive barrel roll on the inside. Caution is going to be out already here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Violent, brutal accident behind. Brennan Wilmington looks like he's going to lead the field around. Keegan Thompson's going to be in for second. And Stapleton and Durrani going to go side by side for that third position. As the field comes down Gasoline Alley here on lap number two to get the caution flag. Wilmington, Thompson, Durrani, Stapleton, Rowe. Then Trey Smith, the points leader. Sebastian Kukulon, Eric Monaco, Sophia Fragniti, and Kanan Biller. And it was a humongous accident coming out of turn number two. Benny Watson, Christian Vargas, and Ben Young. Young getting catapulted up into the air completely. Vargas was ahead of them all, and Watson going down to the inside with that massive barrel roll. And already, caution number one is out here in the Brickyard 400. And I honestly wouldn't be the least bit surprised if we see guys come down the pit road here this early on. Looks like Monaco, let's see, maybe he, does he have a problem? I've honestly never seen anybody come down the access road before when coming to get pit stops. But we'll see if these guys do in fact angle down the pit road. Doesn't look like they will. So Monaco is going to come down onto the pit road. Hopefully it's not any major issue. Maybe he's just going to go ahead and do a two-stop race here. Ben Young is going to come back out onto the racetrack, looks like. They pretty well got that car uh, fixed up. I am surprised with the kind of ride he took. Doesn't even look like there's hardly a scratch on that thing now. Well, on the right side, there's a little bit of a scratch, but doesn't look in, doesn't look like it was in terribly bad uh, shape. But uh, Eric Monaco went down the pit road there. Looks like he's just getting service here. So Ben Young will come around as well and rejoin with the rest of the field, just narrowly avoiding uh, going a lap down, but uh, we're gonna have two cars out of the race here We're gonna have Benny Watson out and we're gonna have Christian Vargas out of this race No doubt about it, but field is gonna be in the hands of Brennan Wilmington here as they come to the restart here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway in just a couple laps here, but first let us go back and take a look at what happened to bring out caution number one here in the Brickyard 400 so here they came through turn two. Ben Young diving on the inside of Watson and Vargas up into the wall. They go as a result. Vargas noses towards the ground there as he starts spiraling up in the air. Ben Young, the tamest out of all the rolls there, but Watson goes for the big barrel roll on the inside of the back straightaway there. All four come back down on their wheels, but Young... uh. I don't know. I guess it's not that surprising that he'll be able to go on here. Doesn't look like a whole lot of damage on that two. Got a very lucky there, but uh, it's for Watson and Vargas. It's a completely different story. So here as they come through turn two, watch again as Young dives it in on the inside of Watson and Vargas. Up into the wall they go, and Young just up on the nose there. Doesn't really go for a roll on his top, but Vargas all the way up into the catch fence. And Watson with the big roll down on the inside. Young the only one that can put it in gear and get going. But it was Keegan... No, it was Brendan Wilmington, excuse me, who led the field around. And he's going to lead the field to the green flag here once again at Indianapolis. Track is clear. We're good to go. So let's head to the restart here at Indy. Lights are out atop the pace car here at Indianapolis. The Sebastian Kukulon in the 82 has just blown up like Despacito in freshman year of high school here during the caution flag. We just got the one to go, and he has a problem. 
and looks like Sil Silver Point I saw angling down deeper in the field, but looks like uh, has joined up with the rest of the pacing line, so no issue there. But Sebastian Kukulon going to fall out here early in the Brickyard 400 here at Indianapolis Motor Speedway presented by Franklin Electric. Second place points man coming into this race. And boy, if nothing happens to Trey Smith, I mean, even if something happens to Trey Smith, Trey's coming in with a 39 point lead and already up running in the sixth position right now here as uncharted driver Brennan Wilmington leads the way here at the Brickyard. Keegan Thompson second, Ryan Durrani third, Nathan Stapleton fourth, Alexander Rowe fifth, Trey Smith sixth, and now it'll be Sophia Fragniti, Kanan Biller, Andrew Miller, and Owen Miles rounding out the top ten here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. But the field will come around to get the green flag once again to restart after the incident involving Ben Young, Benny Watson, and Christian Vargas. Vargas going to be credited with 41st. Watson will be credited with 42nd after that triple barrel roll on the back straightaway with the 2, the 1, and the 53. Pace car is in, and we are going to get restarted here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Wilmington, Thompson, Durrani, Stapleton, Rowe, green flag. Thompson immediately going to go to the inside of Wilmington on the restart here. Through turn number one, they go side by side. Durrani's going to go with Thompson on the inside, as will the Indiana boy, Nathan Stapleton. Out of turn number two, they come headed down the back straightaway. Everyone getting up to speed very well. Wilmington still stuck on that top side. Trey Smith's going to enter the top five as a result. And up front, Thompson drives a little wide there. Durrani not able to get to the inside of him just yet, but he is sure trying to. Durrani out of turn four. Still not able to get to the inside of that 46. Three wide, a little deeper in the field. Rebelton, Thibodeau, and Andrew Williams going at it there. As they break up the field there, there's now a hole in between where those positions are. See, that's about back in 23rd, 24th. As Stapleton gets to the inside of Ryan Durrani for the second position. And don't look now. Here comes Alexander Rowe on the 34. He'll move into the top three. Trey Smith down to the inside of Ryan Durrani now looking for that fourth position. Going to get back in behind the 34 for the time being. Could take a dive. Headed off into three, though. He's there on the inside. Thinks better of it. Pulls back in line behind Ryan Durrani. But Keegan Thompson still up front leading the way right now. Ryan Durrani looking at Alexander Rowe potentially to take the third position away. Not going to happen just yet. Oh, deeper in the field. Tight Nicholas goes around. What a save off Brad Crawford. Crawford and Williams make contact now. But no cautions going to come out. And Titan Nicholas surely going to have some big damage on the 17 after going to the inside and hitting the wall after contact with Brad Crawford. Slow on the apron. Slow down on the warm-up lane. And uh, definitely going to fall at least one lap down as a result of that. And will fall out of contention for this race victory. Trey Smith. Moving into the fourth position there on the inside of Alexander Rowe. That is bad news for Sebastian Kukulon, who went out with a valve problem under the last yellow flag. You saw right as we came back from looking at the replay of what happened to Ben Young, Christian Vargas, and Benny Watson. He blew the valve stem off his car and uh, will be relegated to a 40th place finish here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Tough break for the second place points man. But that could be good for Darian Arnsdorf. We'll see where Darian is right now. There he is. Sits on the track right now in the 16th position. That could put him back inside the top two in points. But Trey Smith still up here as for the race lead. Here comes Stapleton on the inside of Keegan Thompson for the top position through turn three and four. Ryan Durrani there as well. Could have a shot. Thompson coming back on the top side. Steepleton down low. Thompson and Reckon turn four. Will Parrish has gone around. So far, it looks like he was the only victim. 
So caution number two is out here at Indianapolis. I believe we saw somebody else down to the pit road. Oh, that was Titan Nicholas. Never mind. So, yeah, it does, it does indeed look like Parrish may have been the only car involved, but Christopher Reynolds slow there on the inside, maybe just giving his position back to Ben Grorich. But Keegan Thompson just barely nosed out Nathan Stapleton at the line. And boy, if they come down to the pit row this time, this is going to be interesting as far as fuel mileage goes because we were expecting a 16-lap fuel run and maybe just a, a run all the way to the checkered flag. But now, if they choose to come down now, considering the ones that already have, Titan Nicholas, of course, Ben Young has been on and off the pit road after his first incident. Parrish, I seriously doubt, would avoid coming down the pit road. Eric Monaco's been down the pit road as well. And yes, we will see the field angle down to the pit road. And we will see our first uh, pit cycle in mass here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Keegan Thompson's going to lead the brigade down. And looks like everybody, including Monaco and Young, are going to come down the pit road. And I... We'll see about Titan Nicholas, though. Of course, he's a lap down, so if he was going to come down on the pit road, he wouldn't come down this time. He'd come down the next time by it. But here we go. Pit stops happening now for the first time in mass here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Keegan Thompson, the leader coming in there, down to stall number four behind Ryan Durrani. Nathan Stapleton popping out very quickly. Will Thompson beat him out? Smith looks like he's going to come out third. How about this? Drag race to the line. Thompson just by a nose ahead of Stapleton. Then Trey Smith, Wilmington, and fourth place points man Brad Stover leapfrogs from ninth to fifth on the pit road. How about this skirmish to get off the pit road? And here will be everybody else. Cologne going to nose out Rosero just at the stripe and of course Parrish going to be the one down there the longest looks like Brad Crawford may have stayed down there as well he might have sustained that some damage in that tangle with Titan Nicholas but Parrish still down on the pit road see if they can get the damage on the rear end of that zero hammered out doesn't look like they're going to but they did take something off of that zero car we'll see as he comes by here Ah, oh, they took off the uh, back plate of that zero car. So I wouldn't be surprised as well if Titan Nicholas, maybe he's going to come down the pit road. Maybe he won't. Yeah, he's going to come down right here. So he will indeed stay a lap down under this caution flag. So field is going to be in the hands of Keegan Thompson coming to get the next restart here in the Brickyard 400. Two early cautions here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Let us now go back and take a look at what happened to bring out caution number two here at Indianapolis. So here we are coming into turn number four. Arnsdorf gonna dive it in on the inside of Parrish, turn him around and up into the wall hard goes the sprite number zero of Will Parrish. But uh, it's just damage on the backside of the car. Looks like if there's any damage anywhere else, looks like they'll easily be able to hammer it out and he should be able to keep going for the rest of this race. So watching now full speed as they come into turn number four. Arnstorf on the inside of Parrish sends him up into the wall. Big damage on the left side of the car as well but again uh, they look surely they'll be able to hammer out the damage on the zero of Parrish and he should be able to get going but field is going to be the hands of Keegan Thompson on this restart and uh, we should be good to uh, go for the rest of this Brickyard 400. The track is clear, we're good to go. So let's head to the restart here at Indianapolis. Back with your live picture here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, Keegan Thompson leads the way here in the Brickyard 400, race 26 of 32 here in the Cabela's Cup Series. After today, we will only have six races left before we crown a champion. Points leader Trey Smith has had a lucky one so far today. His nearest points rival, Sebastian Kukulon, out of the race with a valve problem, relegated to a 40th place finish. 
and Trey Smith already coming in with a 39-point lead in the point standings here in the Cabela's Cup Series. Huge break for him. What a statement it would be. What a leap he would get in the points if he came out of here with a top five finish. Considering the fact that Darian Arnsdorf is also still behind him, coming in 52 points behind Trey Smith. Arnsdorf is in 11th right now. Smith is all the way up in third. So what an impact this could have on the point standings as Trey Smith trying to pull away late here in the season potentially may even lock up the championship a race early at this point before we even get to Homestead. But Keegan Thompson leads the way right now here at Indianapolis ahead of Nathan Stapleton. Then Trey Smith there in third. Brennan Wilmington in the fourth position there. Brad Stover, fourth place points man in fifth. Nathan Smith in sixth. Then it's Josiah Robinson, Joey Hightower, Sam Adoskin, and Andrew Miller. The top ten as Alexander Rowe going to blow up in the back. He's going to come down to the pit road here on this restart. And the green flag is going to come out. We are racing again here in the Brickyard 400. Tough break there for Alexander Rowe coming in 12th in the point standings. 112 back of Trey Smith. Not what he needed at all. He's going to lose a ton of spots, a ton of points, and maybe even spots to Trey Smith coming out of Indianapolis. Single file for the most part. Now Trey Smith going to look to the inside of Nathan Stapleton, moving into the second position on the inside of the 97. Side by side, that's going to allow Thompson to pull away for the time being. Stapleton looks like he got a good bite. Oh my goodness, they made contact. But Stapleton's going to hold off the points leader for the time being. As they come down out of turn number four, Thompson has a big lead. Stapleton trying to chase him back down. Wilmington going to get to the inside of Trey Smith down Gasoline Alley and into turn number one. Brad Stover on the inside in the fifth position, now looking to take fourth away from Trey Smith, who's still stuck up on the top side. This is not what you want if you're Trey Smith. Darian Arnsdorf trying to work his way up through the field. Now he might have a challenge on the inside from Ben Grorich. So that's good for Smith for the time being. But what about these other guys like Sam and Osgin in the 83? Osgin comes in 89 points back of Smith. And so he is looking to get all the points he can off of that 77's lead. And so he'll get to the inside of Trey Smith. And they'll be side by side coming down the front straight away. Headed for lap 17. We are halfway done here at Indianapolis, so let's crank it up. Contact in the back of the field as Ben Grorch and Trey Smith got together. Smith on the top side falling back. And he's got some damage on the right front of that car. It's Arnsdorf, third place points man, will get by him as the points leader continues to slip back on that outside. He's got the defending champion Kanan Biller on his backside now. Of course, we're going to need we're going to see another pit cycle before this race is over with as they came down on lap 11 it's a 16 lap fuel run so we'll see him come down around lap 27 or so and up front potentially for the race lead Wilmington could get to the inside of Thompson not quite yet but it's Thompson Wilmington Stapleton Rosero Stover that is the top five as they work down gasoline alley once again here now Wilmington's gonna sling to the inside for the race lead into turn number one and that uncharted driver is going to take it away. Wilmington is an uncharted driver from the Scots National Series, has never won in his Scots National career. 
Could he get a Cabela's Cup Series win here? And you know what? If he gets this, he has a reserve for next season in this in the uh, what will be called the Trinity River Cup Series at that point. But this is a crown jewel race, so not only would he uh, have a seed in Mac Tools I Rock at the end of the season, he'd have a reserve for this series. So he's looking to get that as he works down Gasoline Alley once again here to lead lap number 19 onto lap 20 we go. 13 laps to go here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Rosero to the inside of Nathan Stapleton there for the third position. Thompson trying to work his way back on the inside of that 97 through turn two. The most treacherous corner on the track right here, turn two. The rest of the field knows that they know not to get three wide through here. And that honestly may have been what happened. I haven't seen the replay yet, but you already at home have. But I believe that's what happened that caused the incident with Ben Young, Christian Vargas, and Benny Watson. They got three wide in the turn, went right up to the outside retaining wall. As Josiah Robinson in the 52 now trying to chase down the 09 of Brennan Wilmington. We'll have 12 laps to go this time, but again, we're going to see one more pit cycle before this race is over with. Stapleton going to go to the inside of Keegan Thompson there for the third position. Stover is going to take fourth, and Hightower looking to move inside the top five there in car number eight. And now Osgin, could he get to the inside of Thompson as well? Thompson slipping back on the top side. And meanwhile, where is Trey Smith falling? There he is, 15th in behind Charlie Davenport right now. So not a terrible position to be in on the track. In fact, Darian Arnsdorf not even, well, actually is a couple of spots ahead of him. But uh, given the fact that Sebastian Kugelon's out of the race, it's not the worst situation that Trey Smith could be in. Arnsdorf's not getting a whole lot on him in the points. Meanwhile, back here, three wide. That got awful close with Quinton Moore, Ryan Gerani, and Sofia Fragniti as they came out of turn number four. Three wide, headed off into turn number one. Nathan Smith, Ben Grorich in the middle of that. Keegan Thompson and Jacob Thibodeau on the inside as well in car 33. But up front, Josiah Robinson has caught Brennan Wilmington for the race lead. Will he make a move on the 0-9 headed off into turn number three? There, these guys are technically teammates for this race. Wilmington may be an uncharted driver, but that is a Thibodeau Motorsports 1-2 right now. Robinson showing his teammate for the day. Plenty of respect right now, but they're going to go side by side for the race lead as Wilmington overdrove turn four. And Robinson at the line takes it away from him. And now we have 10 laps to go here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Nathan Stapleton closing in in car 97 right up to the backside of Brennan Wilmington. We've only had two cautions in this race, by the way. Aside from that, since the last restart, it's been a very clean race. There's been some close calls, but man, it has been an exciting race here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, but still plenty of time left. Now we got five cars on top of each other. Sam and Osgin in the 83. He could potentially be looking for his third win of the season as he's going to move Brad Stover up out of the way, but Stover's going to be in the draft of Stapleton and Wilmington. We'll see if Sam and Osgin can keep tempo with him as they head down the front straightaway off into turn number one. Osgin's going to have the dive on the inside of the 48, and he will move into the fourth position. Stapleton looking at Wilmington now for second place. That could bring Osgin right up to them as Josiah Robinson Continues to lead here at Indianapolis. Eight and a half laps to go at the Brickyard. Wilmington took a peek on the inside there, but he's not anywhere close enough to make a move on Josiah Robinson just yet. As they head through the Northwestern turn four. Robinson, Wilmington, Stapleton, Osgin, Stover, Hightower, Nathan Smith, Keegan Thompson, then Grorich and Thibodeau. That is the top 10 here with now eight laps to go at the Brickyard 400. Take a look deeper in the field here. Trey Smith falling back a little more in the 77. Back to 
the 23rd position. Now looking to take 22nd away from RJ Racero, who got stuck on the outside. Eric Monaco on the move a little further ahead. Gets by Mitchell Collins there in the 59. That's what check back in up front. Chevrolet 1 2 3 right now. Thibodeau Motorsports 1 2, and then an NS Racing Chevrolet. Josiah Robinson, Brennan Wilmington, Nathan Stapleton, then Sam and Osgin for Toyota and Trinity River Racing, and then Buck Racing's Brad Stover there in the Ford Mustang. Osgin going to take a look to the inside of Stapleton. Wilmington take a look to the inside of, of uh, Robinson, rather. Not close enough to make the move, but Osgin will take third place away from Nathan Stapleton. And now Stover looking at the 97 for potentially taking away a spot there. Not going to happen just yet. But Oskin going to be right on the back side of the 09. Headed down the back straightaway. And the 09 of Brennan Wilmington going to look to the inside of the 52 of Josiah Robinson. Teammates going to be side by side once again. Headed off into turn three. And Wilmington is going to take the spot back. We're coming to lap 27 this time. Will we see anybody come to the pit road this time? Wilmington going to overrun the turn there. That could allow Osgin to close in. We'll watch down the front straightaway. We'll see if anybody comes down the pit road. We're right there at the window. The window's open. Where we would ex at least where we'd expect somebody to come down. We're almost right at 16 laps this time by. So we're coming to the end of lap 27 this time around. I would imagine we'll see these guys come down the pit road. But now... Seven cars on top of each other right now as the top three pull away as fourth place is side by side Brad Stover and Josiah Robinson. So now it's three cars on top of a blanket for the race lead. Wilmington, Osgin, Stapleton. Will it be that way when they come around after this last pit cycle? The question is, will when will that pit cycle happen? It's not a question of if, it's a question of when. As Mitchell Collins going to go wide deeper in the field and hit the wall. As Osgin and Wilmington pulling away from the rest of the field. Stapleton slipping back a bit. Osgin taking a look at Wilmington through turn one. Not quite able to get there and Wilmington's going to pull away through turn two. And onto the back straightaway they go. Five laps to go here in Indianapolis. Who is going to be able to make it to the end on fuel? Oh, Wilmington slowing up. He could be getting ready to come down the pit road. Now Sam and Osgin right there with him. Osgin's going to come down. Wilmington's going to come down. Stapleton's going to come down. Brad Stover's going to stay out. And we'll look down Gasoline Alley. It's going to be split about 50-50. Trey Smith's coming down the pit road. Stover stays out though. He's got a big lead. 2.27 over Thibodeau and Kanan Biller as they go side by side for second place. But we'll watch with this group down on the pit road. See who comes off first. Wilmington down to his stall. Osgin now down. Nathan Smith, Keegan Thompson, Stapleton, Miller. There's Trey Smith. Dan Park also down to the pit road. Here's Wilmington getting ready to come off in the 09. Oskin will be right there with him. Stapleton and Hightower. Hightower is going to be ahead of Stapleton. So it'll be Wilmington, Oskin, Hightower, Stapleton, Robinson. The top five for that group off of the pit road. Durrani's going to stay out now and he'll inherit the race lead as Stover brings the rest of the field down. Durrani. The last car to stay out here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And will we see him come down at the end of lap 30 here? As the first group comes off of the pit road, three laps remain here at Indianapolis. And we'll see what the rest of this group here. It's Caden Biller down. Brad Stover coming off of the pit road. A quick stop for the 48. Now we got to watch for... Here they come. Here's Wilmington, Osgin, Hightower right there as they scream for the art of bricks. And Ryan Durrani looking like he's going to come down the pit road. Yes, he will. So two laps to go will be taken on the pit road by Ryan Durrani. 
And as the leaders, or who will be the leaders, will come around, is it going to be Stover inheriting the lead in the mid take? Or will Wilmington catch up to him? Osgen Hightower right there as well. Stover looks like he's got the lead. It would be his first career win in the Cabela's Cup Series if he can hold on. He has a big lead over Wilmington. But Durrani, a slow exit for him. Brad Stover is going to get around the 34 this time by. That's not the white flag. It'll be the white flag next time around for whoever's leading, and it looks like it's going to be Stover. It's going to be Stover, Wilmington, Osgen, Hightower, Stapleton, the top five. And now Osgen working on Wilmington for second, trying to get all the points he can, and Stover coming in fourth in the point standings. Could he steal one away here at Indianapolis? Osgen going to be on the inside of Wilmington. Wilmington, a huge run on the top side, trying to run down the 48 of Stover. Is there enough time to catch up to him? White flag going to come out here in Indianapolis. One more time around the Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the first ever Cabela's Cup Series Brickyard 400. Sam and Osgen going to go to the inside of Brennan Wilmington for the race lead. Headed off into turn number one. The three-season veteran will move to the second position and look to challenge Brad Stover for this race victory. Looking for his third win of the season. Out of turn two they come. Down the back straightaway. He's taking a peek to the inside. Will he be there to make a move? Not yet. Hightower's right there as well if he's two tangle. Headed off into turn number three. Oscar's going to take a peek to the inside. He's going to take the lead away from Brad Stover. And coming out of turn three, Hightower, could he get to the inside? Not quite. Sam and Oskin off of turn number four. He's going to steal away the first ever Brickyard 400. Sam and Oskin wins at Indianapolis. And it's the third win of the season for the Swedish driver Samet Osgen, fourth of his career. My goodness. Wasn't sure anybody could catch Stover after he had an incredible lead coming off of the pit road. Somehow, some way, they were able to catch him. And fifth place points man Samet Osgen. Steals it away here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, and he is going to gain some points on Trey Smith for sure, who fell all the way back to 33rd. And so Kukulon is not going to lose as many points as he could have, but he's definitely going to fall out of a race worth of points. Arnsdorf finished 25th. I don't know if he'll quite get back within a race worth of points of Trey Smith. But that is not what Trey Smith wanted. Stover is going to take off a lot of points with a third place finish to Trey Smith's 33rd. But Samet Osgen stealing it away here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. What a way to cap off the inaugural Brickyard 400 here in the Cabela's Cup Series with a finish like that. Samet Osgen wins by .261 seconds over Joey Hightower. Brad Stover third, uncharted driver. What a run he had. Brennan Wilmington finishing fourth. Nathan Stapleton in fifth. Josiah Robinson in sixth. Then it's Kanan Biller, Ryan Durrani, Jacob Thibodeau, and Ben Grorich rounding out the top ten. Quinton Moore, the other uncharted driver there, finishing in 11th. Great run for that driver in the 91. We'll take a look at the rest of your standings here. Titan Nicholas, the only car finishing a lap down. Ben Young, after the ride he took on lap two, surprising that he was able to uh, keep the pace that he did, comes out of here with a 37th place finish. But uh, only four cars out of this race. Alexander Rowe with an ignition failure. Sebastian Kukulon with a valve problem. And Christian Vargas, Benny Watson, obviously out in the lap two incident. The second incident that we had, the only other incident in this race, was Will Parrish getting turned up into the turn four safer barrier. 
he continued on to finish in the 36th position. But that is going to do it here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Congratulations to Samet Osgin for his third win of the season, fourth of his career here in the Cabela's Cup Series, and what a way to get it done. Three times this season, he's been part of an exciting finish at Homestead, side-by-side -side with Trey Smith. At Las Vegas, he was being chased down by Jacob Thibodeau, just barely held him off, and now stealing it away from Brad Stover on the final lap. What a driver, Sam at Osgin. Coming out of here with the win, and this is certainly going to shake up the point standings with Trey Smith finishing in the 33rd position. He's not going to have that massive lead anymore, I bet, but we'll see how everything shakes out here. But that's going to do it here at Indianapolis. Again, congratulations to Sam and Oskin. We'll take a look now at your driver's point standings, your owner's point standings, and we'll wrap it up here at Indianapolis. We will see you next week from the Michigan International Speedway for the Motor City 500 presented by Quicken Loans. Y'all take care, stay safe, and have a good one. Welcome to the NOF SRM.